That's right, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I have the honor this afternoon to speak to the fire, the girl who's on fire, who was burning up Trinidad and Tobago and around the world last week. A very good evening to you, my dear um, Nisha. How are you today? Pleasant good evening to you, Ken, and I am fine, thank you, and I hope you're doing well and everybody who's locked in. Well, thank you very much. You know, I am so sorry about the little delay, but That's okay. um, I'm so glad I have you on. You look pretty as usual. Thank and you so much. You look like you're on fire anyway. Um, <laughs> first off, I would like to say on behalf of myself and all the viewers who locked on, um, we would like to congratulate you on becoming the first woman to win the crown. I have to tell you, Nisha Ramsuk is one of the most powerful women vocalist, performer, and entertainment of the Chutney Soka industry. I learned that you were singing from age 14. How that happened? Thank you so much for the compliment. Um, you want the entire story? <laughs> yes, man. Give it to me. Okay, well, firstly, um, music is in my genes. Right. It's in my blood because my, my grandfather, he was a classical singer. He's no mm. more. He's He, he has died a long time ago and my dad he would normally sing as well but it's not to say that he's a recorded artist now when I was around 14 years old um my mom my parents are double spenders so mm -hmm. my mom will she will put on the radio while she's doing the bar and you mm -hmm. know long time you know East Indian people used to have these pallet stack up of uh, wood it's like pallet wood in front yes. of your yard so right. it would be tapped like a stage in front of our yard yes and while she frying bara like especially on saturday i would be like on top of the pallets with and when she have on the radio now i'll be like pulling maybe a little stick or something in my hand right, right, right. and singing along with the radio and she would be like you're singing real good you're singing just like a woman on the radio uh -huh. and i would be like mom i love to sing and um there was this post guy. Now, everybody know him as Mr. Balki Soon from St. Yeah. Sharma. All right, Mr. yes. Omar, that Mirage. Right. Um, he was a postman back then. Really? And, yes. And mom would say that, um, uncle have a band. Why don't you ask him to give you a little, some, a little tryout? Right. So I would be like, yeah, mommy, I'm going to ask him. So I like four days. Four days. I said like, it's like only fourth or the third day. I sat out and I said, I'm going to ask him today. Mommy said, yeah, go ask him. And when he comes with the mail, I will just take it and look at him. And I would just be frozen. I would not ask uh -huh. until the third day came. And I said, uncle, I love to sing. And mommy told me I have a band. And he said, true, you, you love to sing and say yes. So um, he let me hear sing something. So I sang the songs for him. him. Oh my goodness. This shall have the voice of the woman on the radio. So <laughs> I, you know, thinking, oh, wow. You know, I was so happy. Yes, yes. And, um, he told, he know my dad. So he, cause my dad is a doubles vendor. Mm -hmm. And he told my dad, bring her, you know, he give it, he give dad his address, bring her, let her, let her get a little familiar with the music and stuff. Now, back then I did not know how to keep proper timing. I did not know how to keep on a, a key. And I had no, no, no kind of uh, vocal training, nothing. Right. And he gave me that child. Yes. He invited me to different multi course, cooking night, uh, reception, birthdays, different um occasions. He invited us to come, and all I had to do is come and sing two songs. And he, you know, gradually, gradually, he's going, going, going. I learn more and more songs. So yes. He he, he kind of like opened the door for me in singing because he gave mm. me that trial. Right. So I want to say thank you to Omar that Maraj, otherwise I wouldn't have been singing. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he was, yes, he was in the studio. I didn't know that uh, he, you knew him or else I would probably go through him. But I have to tell you, you know, Nisha, I am so honored to have you on. You know, the first time I asked you, you said no problem. And I was like, in my mind, what if she's going to come on my show? I said, thank you so much for doing this. I want to talk about the song itself, that one fireman song. Fireman. Um, yes, man, fireman. Um, so let me ask you something. Who do you write your own songs? I do. Yes, I do. Really? Um, yes. Fireman was written by yours truly as well. Ah, oh, beautiful, <laughs> excellent. So you write the song. And how come you get the idea 
to write a song about fireman? Okay, well, <clears throat> last year I sang at a um, I am a fire officer as well, right? Oh, and congrats! I did. My boyfriend is a firefighter. Oh, good. And um, I sang at a fantastic Friday event in the yard, and um, there was a lot of fire officers because it was really for the fire officers, and mm -hmm. I I sang a song last year, um, Sweet Tassa, and there was a particular name in. Mm -hmm that song but in it, the name was cheetah now the name that i put on the song it was my boyfriend's last name right right so when i was singing it um they started to chant cheetah 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 right and when i came off stage you now i had to go back on stage to repeat the song again right yeah. when i came off stage they were like you was real good you rock the place and then they gave me that it was like are you going to sing a song? You're only singing about your boyfriend. You're going to sing about a fireman next. So I was like, yes, my I was God. like, that's an idea, boy. That's an idea. So I kept the idea. Yes. And then, um, well, you know, while you're going to work and you're in the car by yourself, you'll be thinking, you'll be, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, your brain is, you just start to think all kinds of things. And I started with this, this melody just pop up in my head. And I just, yes. I just, I don't know, just a line. Call the fire, call the fire, call the fireman. It was, it was like call. It was like Carl came to my head, like Carl, the fireman. I was like, that's so good because I know some people think in Guyanese when they hear Carl, but I yeah. really love how it sounds because right, right. I could put call, but I preferred to put Carl, the fireman because I right, love right. him. Yes. I came up with the idea, but um, while driving, I could not, I could not jog down anything. So what I did is I, I had my phone. And I just press the record button because it's mm -hmm. right, right on in, in front of my phone. That's like the only app that is in front of my phone that I just click and yes. I sang a piece. Going to work again, I got another idea on it. And you know, mm -hmm. after you know, I said, you know what? Let me let me put this song together. It probably took me maybe mm -hmm. about I don't want to lie. It probably took me about a month right. with all the ideas and all of that. And then I mm -hmm. put everything together in a month time. Mm -hmm. Um. In terms of production, um, I took it to Maha Production and I said, Maha Rishi, I have this song and don't laugh it. Don't, I just, it's the same thing I told him. I said, Rishi, right. don't laugh it. I know you're going to laugh, but don't laugh. Yeah, wasn't the only song we're going to sing about? So I was like, the fireman, him. We say, want to about Ryan again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, Jesus. But yeah, his ideas came up. So we went, we produced it and everything. And, you know, to be honest, I'm being real here now. Um, when the song was recorded and everything, and um, Mr. George saying he made Chutney Soka Monarch happen because, you know, due, due to the COVID and all of that. Right, so, right, right. He still, uh, you know, he still made this show possible. And I told Rishi, I was like, Rishi, I don't think I want to release, you know, because, you know, through the pandemic. And right, right. And I want to hold back this song because I love this song and I want to, you know, be in a, a live audience. Right. And my, I have a daughter and my daughter told me, she said, Mommy, why are you not taking part? I said, babe, I don't want, I'm, I'm not feeling to go. She said, mommy, I think you should take part. Mm -hmm. And you know, I listened to that child. How I old is the child? My daughter is 14 years old. Oh God, you look like 19. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> well, thank you so much. That is a good compliment. Thank yes, yes, <laughs> yes. She said, mommy, go, go. So I went, I drove down to South Lake and um, it was like two days before the actual deadline. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went, I registered the song. And when the names came out for the semifinals, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm happy. Yes. And I went, I gave it my all. And yes. then the day for the results of the finals now, so that they're going to, okay, they're going to say, okay, who made the finals? I was like, mm. because last year I did not make the finals. And I remember wow. being in a lot of, I was really sad and right. emotional. Well, and um, mm. I know it wasn't the end of the world, but at the same right. time, I knew that I could try back next year, which I did this year. And when I heard my name in the finals, I was, you wouldn't believe I cried again. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I am very emotional. Yes. I, I mean, it's tears of joy for me, right? Right. So right. we continue. We, I went to the finals. I went, honestly, I went and I said, you know what? I'm going to try my best. And basically, my my aim really and truly this year, because this is my second year in the finals. To be honest, oh, okay, good for you though. Uh, yeah, because I have been knocking um the doors at 
um chutney soaker monarch for a good couple of years mm -hmm. now um is when i was it's when i was uh wrong 14 i started but i'm singing 18 years now but 14 wow. years now i have been knocking the doors uh -huh. them, and this is my second year in the finals yes and when he released the names and from the time he released the third runner he went from the time he released from third to first and i heard the third runner i heard the second i was like you know these are really powerful women and i was like i don't know i yes. don't know because i was like okay i told my sister i said you know what i am expecting at least to make a top five and i will be contended honestly i'm a very oh. humble person Oh, yes, yes. And, you know, I know they had the queen competition, but I know I was up against a lot of powerful women in the industry. There was a lot of really yes. good singers. Yes. Like Chica Dindial. She's yeah, like yes. a little London, you know? And I, you and, know, I, I, to be honest, I love my Fluffy too. And um, yes. to my girl from Trinidad, Pua, but we will talk all about, we'll talk nice things today. Uh, but I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking to Nisha Ramsuk. She is one of the most powerful women now on the planet where you come to soca wow. and chutney music, right? She Thank won the so Yeah, she won the whole thing and became the first woman. So I have to ask you, how does it feel that you won this thing among so many powerful women? As you said, Dindial and um Rishman and so on. How does it make you feel? I feel elated, honestly. Elated. Yes. I think yes. cover the entire thing. I am honored. I am oh. truly honored to have received yes. this title for the first time. Uh, yes. And, you know, I know that uh, my name is going to go down in history. And I'm right. truly honored. I'm truly, truly honored. And oh. I'm grateful as well. <laughs> that, yes. And, you know, I could, talking to you, I can see your humility and how humble you are with this. And such a good thing. So um, my next question to you is that I know that, you know, when I was looking through your 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 bio, actually, at work today, uh, I just pulled it up and I said, because I was not sure if you're going to come, I said, my God, you know, I hope she come, you know, on the show. And I was reading through your things. Um, I believe that this was a, something that was really planned by, by God for your destiny, because in through your career, you have won some awards. And um, tell me about some of them. You emerged as uh, uh, award for artists of the whatever Tell me yeah, more yeah, about it. Yeah, um, I was the emerging artist um, for, I cannot remember the year though. It's, I think it's 2011. Uh -huh. I think, yeah, it's either 2011 or 2012. Yeah, I believe. Um, I was the emerging artist, the mobile. That's in, at Chutney Soka Monarch. That was in the, that was in the semifinals. Where That's in 2015. Did, 15, thank you so much. <laughs> That's okay, yes. <laughs> right, so yeah. And then, um, I was awarded the most promising chutney artist. Yes, um, 2008. 2008 by George Maxwell Richards. Yes. Yes. And um, yes, I was. I was. It was such an honor to receive that award, though. Yes. Um, I also placed. Um, I think I placed. It was first place or second place in a table beating competition. Yeah, I man. I hear you could beat the table. <laughs> yes, I was laughing yes. when I read that. I have entered Mastana Bahar quite a couple of times. Um. I have made it to the um I have made it to the semifinals. I have mm. never made it to the finals of Mastana, but I have I never gave up. I always try. Um and I also, you know, singing is something that I love. And I'm not going to like, you know, because something does not go the way that I want. Right. And you know, you you come and you lose and you're you're gonna say, I done, I not I'm not like that. Right. I'm gonna pick up myself and I'm going to go home and do my homework Absolutely. and I'm going to go back there and I'm going to try again. Um, I, I have the DJ getting ready the same song that one, I want to hear it again because I get to like call the fireman, you know, and were you <laughs> Carl, ready? Carl. Carl. <laughs> were, were you ready though? Um, so when you, when you won this thing, what went through your mind? You said, wow. Whoa. Did you get goosebump? Really you were like, my daughter have the actual recording before I even go live. I went live on Facebook, but yes. that live that I went, that was not the moment. That was the party kind of expression, the kind of happy yes. kind of yes. emotion. But she have the, I was like in front of that television because I connected to my, um, to my phone to my um television. And I was like, okay, they're going to call first. I was like, 
and my hands were shaking like this. Wow. And when my name called and he said, Nisha Ram, so congratulations, you are our very first Chutney Soka Monarch Queen. I was like, uh, Misha, is that my name? <laughs> is that my okay. name? Yes. Pinch me, please. And I uh. to cry again. And I was so happy. I was so, I started to hop as with my sister and my daughter was there and my boyfriend. He walked outside before the results and he said, I come in now. I said, Ryan, the results going to take place. Soon as the results hit, I see him walking in the house with a, bu- a bunch of flowers. I was like, a bunch of flowers? Um, all I get is resolved before. He was like, Nisha, today is Valentine's Day. Yes, yes. Wow. But I'm like, you know, but it was truly a good feeling. I felt so, oh my gosh. I am, uh, you know, that, that's so nice. I'm so glad that you were able to experience this. And like you said, you will go down in history as the first woman to really do this. And I know that Ch- uh, Trinidad and Tobago is big with chat music and soca. Let's hear the song. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking to Nisha Ramsuk, the winner who won last week, man. I'm so happy for you. This is, this is Carly Fireman. I hope you are ready.
That's right, that's right. I hope when the fireman came, he was able to out her fire. Where is it, ma'am? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking to Nisha Ramsuk, uh, one of the most powerful women in Trinidad. As we all know, she won the Chutney Soka Monarch, becoming the first woman to win this. You know, when I was listening to this, um, tw- 26 years, and, and the woman never won this, I wonder how this could happen when there are so many powerful women in Trinidad and Tobago. What's your take on that? Um, hmm. I know you got to go easy, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess Mr. Singh decided he probably had realized that, um, you know, that the ladies, you know, we really do come out. We all come out with, you know, everybody puts out their best. Right. And I think, you know, probably he, he maybe say, you know what? Let's crown a king and a queen this day, because I I remembered hearing him say it in an interview, and he he was like, "We're gonna crown a king and a queen." So we have a king as well. Um, yes. Gi actually won the entire competition. He is yes. the Chutney Soka king. Right. Um, yes, I must say congratulations to Gi because I love his song. I really yes. do love his song. Yes. Um, but I think that was one of the best best um decision Mr. Singh made. Oh, to crown yes. a king and a queen. Yes, it ma'am. most definitely was. Because I remember in one of my interviews before um the semifinals, I had an interview when I released Fireman and they asked me that same question. And in my interview, I was like, you know, the woman, we go out there, we try our right. best. And I was like, why not on that night crown a king and let's a crown a, let's crown a queen too? Because yes. you know, the, the king need a queen there. Absolutely. It was like maybe two weeks after I heard that, you know, we're going to get a king and a queen. Yes. And I was like, wow, but I never <laughs> thought it would have been me. <laughs> were, were, were you surprised that you win? I mean, when you were making this song, did you ever thought to yourself, you know what, I'm going to win it with this song? It was never I thought that I'm going to win it with this song because I know I was up against a lot of really powerful artists, not yes, only women, yes. but men as well. Yes. And I, it's not that I was down in myself. But before, it used to always be about making the Chutney Soka Monarch finals. That was my yes. first step that I always wanted. 
this was my second year, as I said, making that finals. And for me this year, my aim was really and truly was to make the top five, honestly. Uh, yes. That was like my aim. It's like I was climbing a ladder. So I was right. like, okay, I made the semis. I was happy. I made the finals. I was contended. Last year, I did not make the finals. So I dropped back a ladder. Yes, this yes. year, I made the finals and I, 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 just, I stepped up again. And I thought, you know, I would have made the top five. I placed six in the overall competition. And in the female in the females category, I won. And I'm yeah. still climbing the ladder. It's not like I reached the top as yet. Right, I'm right. Still, I just we went up see, a step above. We want to see you win take the whole thing away too. <laughs> um you know what advice you have for young girls coming up singing soca and chutney music in Trinidad, know that now you are the, the queen. What advice you give you have for them if they're not winning? Mm-hmm. Most definitely, I would say, I, I, would, I would like you guys to listen very carefully. Um, you see, being humble is, yes. be, you have to, this is something to be, you have, it's very important. Be humble. Um, you see, when you try something and for some reason you're trying and you're not getting through, don't give up. Mm-mm. Try again. Mm-hmm. You try again and it, you don't get through because look, look at me, it's 14 years now, eh? I mm-hmm. try and yeah. and I never gave up. I never once, even even if I don't make it, I don't even go on Facebook and bash nobody. I don't post. Try to stay away from that. Right. You right. try, you try, yes. you does not make it. Don't go on Facebook and say, hey, I was so on this one. No, don't do that. Be humble. You just think positive. Do your thing. Go out there. Just don't give up. Never give up. Always. And one other thing. Yes. Always remember where you came from. You remember that story oh. I gave you? Postman. Yes. And how some people Postman. may not want, and how some people may not want to tell this story, but me personally, yes. I am grateful and thankful to Mr. Oh. Omar and Miraj. Oh. I got into this singing industry, this music industry. And yes. I must say, be humble. And good things will come your way. And my mom always say, what is for you will always be for you. And when it's your time to shine, it will come to you. And that's a good thing that you said it. We all have our time and help each other to shine, not to pull down each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes. You know, of all the songs that you sung, which one you like the most? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's like this fire man just, it's in my blood. <laughs> it, 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 it's not a pillow warm. It's yeah. it said, I don't know, something about this. The fire man, I love the fireman, you mm-hmm. know, one of my, um, my f- very first recording as well. This is one of my favorite, um, roast up the corn in the chulha. Uh-huh. You, you know that one? I, you have I to get that one, huh? Yes. Um, but you know, I have to get my DJ to see if he heard that one, <laughs> that he could probably pull it up and sing it. What, what's the name again? If, what if you can type it in somewhere or of one of our I, DJ? I can... will send the link. I will send the link to you. Yes. I will send the link to you. Yeah. Good. You know, um, when you're singing, what message do you want to give to young women who's listening to you? When I'm singing, um, I would say as a female vocalist, mm-hmm. um, always maintain respect. Mm-hmm. Respect is a is is something that we need to remember. Not yes. only for women, but men too respect right because you know i don't want to get too deep into it but right i would just say respect always yeah. maintain yeah. respect on yeah. stage you know i know there are some people you know they have different styles but me as an entertainer and um a performer i try to res- maintain respect on stage yes yes and that's a good thing you know another thing that i was looking I mean, you know i'm a kind of visual guy and when I look, when I listen to your song and I was looking at your background, the way you dress and so on, that was real fire there. And oh, so, yeah. Yes. And I actually you... stepped out of my comfort zone there. Uh-huh. It was like a brand new Nisha Ramso because when they saw me, they was like, no, uh-uh, that's not a girl, no? Mm-mm. Yes, Mm-mm. yes. I stepped out of my comfort zone. I don't wear clothing like that. Really? So I, I don't. <laughs> Wow. Um, <laughs> have you ever performed any way out of Trinidad and Tobago or just Trinidad? Just, I performed that Trin- in Trinidad and Tobago. Nowhere else. 
All right. I, you know, um, is there any singer that you um, would like to... T- now you know you are the queen. Them kings go on, come after you now. So <laughs> tell me, <laughs> is there any singer that you really wanted to sing um, before and they tell you no? Um, I have never, I never, I have never asked, I have never asked anyone, um, but I did a few collaborations. I did one with um, Devin Jaramdat, I did one with Anil PT, I did one with Hitman, but I never really asked anyone. But if I were to collaborate, right. most definitely, I would love to do one with Ravi B. Ravi B, I would yes. love, I, yes, I would love to do one because Ravi is so down to earth and kind. Yes. Um, and he's a great vocalist. I yes. would also like to do one with the Raja, the living legend, Rakesh right. Yankaran. He is wow. like a real deal to me. I love yes. it. I love, you know, sometimes I used to sing with him. I used to go to cooking nights and stuff with him and he would hire me. And when we go, I would be sitting on his chair and I'd be watching him and like, uh-uh. and I'm watching his mouth and I was like, you know, it's like he's soaring his voice. It's like, he's just, his mouth is just like going like this and all this just coming out, you know, it's so amazing. Yes, and yes. I honestly, I love Rakesh Shankaran. He's most definitely is a role model to me. Oh, me. that's that's nice. Do you think you would want to go to Guyana to do any kind of singing? I know the Guyanese people love you. No problem. I don't have a problem at all. I don't have a problem. I love, in fact, I love my girl, Vanita Willie. Oh, God, we could talk about her much. just now. You love her. <laughs> or we could talk about her. You you love her, right? Pua. Oh, yes, I do. I do. I even sent her a friend request on Facebook because I was so in love with her song, honestly. I yes. sent her request. She accepted. And um, Climax and I, we are friends. That's the guy who collaborated yeah. with her. Right. And um, Climax messaged me and he told me, Vanita, send her love. And she said, congratulations. And, you know, all uh, of that. And I was like, tell yes. Vanita, I love her. And I love her music and all of that. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I like so, how she had them poor dancing too. Yes, a good yes. performance. Vanita, I think Vanita is a really powerful vocalist. She... She has a really nice voice. And yes. I love, I really, really love that poor song. Honestly. Yes. Vanita, if you're watching, I feel like I had to stand that track for me. <laughs> Probably you and her do a nice collaboration sometime oh, in the yes. future. No yeah. problem at all. Yeah, I would. I want her to come on the show just so we can talk a little bit about poor song. As we are talking about Diana, um, we had this year at the CSM, um, I want to feel, in my opinion, you know, I'm not a big song, songster guy, but I really do believe in my heart that Guyana really send a good representation of Guyanese singing they in Trinidad. What's your they take most, on it? The most, all of their songs was really, really good. Um, Tony Cutts, he had a really wonderful song. Um, yes. This, Bicardi. Yes. I actually love Bicardi's song. Yes. Um, that song was and then there's JP. Right. And uh, something about JP song, it really caught me because, I mean, even though I have Fireman, I used to play JP song, right? And even still, I play it. I keep playing because I love something about his song. I uh, love JP song. And I know JP. I know JP is representing New York and Guyana. Right, right, but right. They really came out. They came out with some really good stuff this year. I must say. I must say thumbs up to Guyana. They really represented well. And, you know, in my opinion, Guyana, I thought in my opinion that Guyana would have done better than they did. Um, and I wouldn't want to put you on the spot, but what advice you have for the Guyanese guys who went to Trinidad or who sent in their tape to sing, what would you advise them? I know you, you didn't win the first time. So how would you advise them? Like you said, you went to the drawing board and you draw. Here it yeah. is. You are the queen. <laughs> um, all I will tell them is that they all were extremely well. Their performance, their vocals were really nice. Yes. Um, all I will have to say, because I think this is their first time. Right. Uh, next year. Yes. Write something even better than this year. Yes. And come out even harder. Yes. Don't give up. Come back. Come back smashing and don't give up. Don't give up at all. Try back again. Because that is what I did. That is what I did. Don't give up at all. Vanita, I'm hoping to see you next year. <laughs> I'm hoping to get her on the show too. So if you get in touch with her, say, yo, you know what? That's guy you will need to talk to Ken um, on the Ken Ramprasad show. Um, 
you know, it's a good thing uh, you're doing this. And I know that you are going to be a voice to reckon with in Trinidad and Tobago and around the world. You know, in Trinidad recently, we had this young girl that was murdered. And I, I want us to talk a little bit because you have a voice now. And I want, I would advise you, encourage you to have a, flat, a platform to stand on. Where do you see women going in Trinidad and Tobago? How do we protect the young girls that's growing up? It's such a sad thing. It is. It takes, a, it takes a village to raise a child. Right. Not just the parents, but the entire community, because back then it's not like now. And, you know, you're hearing about crime. You're hearing about, you know, each and every day you would hear um, someone, somebody's being kidnapped, raped, killed, um, abused. And mostly it's women. And it's, it, it's becoming, you know, very distasteful. Even thinking about it, look at what Andrea Barrett went through. Yes. Nobody wants to go through that. And um, Ashanti Riley, uh, yes. Sean Luke, um, so many, Cindy Chita, so many women. And um, I would say um, we need women. We need to, I find that they should have some sort of technology, some sort of device or something that we have maybe to put around our neck, like a little buzzer, like if something happened. Right. Just, have little buzz and it, it will be able to track your location one time, even though if you have it in your watch, you have it yes. in your watch or a little bracelet or something, so that from the time something happened, from the time somebody kidnapped you, and you press that, the police or, or whoever is in charge would be able to, you know, yes, yes, track your location. That's just me. Um, but in terms of, um, in terms of this whole thing, I think women, we need to, we need to um to be you, you need to know your surroundings be alert be vigilant yes. watch around always because i know for a fact and this is a fact we have some people when they're walking in the streets because i see it a lot and i am not like this you're walking in the streets and you're on your phone and you're texting yes and you're like this now this i mean come on this is this is not back then this is now and we know what's going yes. on what right, kind of people right. And it's not just for the women. And you see, respect, respect, as I said earlier, respect is very important. Women, men, we need to respect women. Mm -hmm. We need to keep our women safe in this, this whole, in the world, not just the country, in the entire right, world. Right, right, And it goes vice versa because, I mean, women, we need to have respect as well. We need to respect men as well because it's not just, it's not just women is happening to, it's happening to men as well. Absolutely. Because lately on Facebook, I saw something really disturbing. A woman tied up a man on a bed and, and beating him. What kind of thing is that? You know, so it, it kind of goes vice versa. Respect, respect men, respect women. And let me live in love and unity. And, and stop all this, this, you know, let me make this world, not just this country, but this world a better place. When, when you start to think about violence, when I start to think about it, it gets me really upset. You'll see a vein popping out in the front of my head. Mm. It, it, it kind of, you know, it, it, it's really emotional as well, but I have a young daughter and I could, I could only imagine what Andrea's father is going through right now. Yes. Yes. May, may their souls rest in peace. May their souls rest in peace. And I pray that as you continue to fly high, my dear, you will continue as you want to fly Trinidad and Tobago flag high, you will take something like domestic violence or, or um, suicide prevention deep within you that you can really be a voice for the people of Trinidad and Tobago I'm going to ask my DJ to get another song get ready to play another song that you sung um, you know and I, I tell you I have to tell you you know talking to you I can see how down to earth you are and you will definitely go to places um, you and so you are such a great role model I am having fun talking to you let's go with <laughs> another song Thank you. I'm so comfortable speaking with you as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's go, DJ. Well, this is Nisha.
So, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you guys. I am talking to the Queen herself, Nisha Ramsuk. So, let's see what some of our viewers are saying. Um, we have Devi Hansraj is dancing, is showing the fire sign and showing some love signs. Savitri Narain Moses, who's singing the child song, Nice, like Spice. <laughs> yes. And that is the beautiful Nisha Ramsuk singing. As we all know that last week she became the first queen of Chutney Soka music in Trinidad and Tobago. We have Alvin Ramsarup. Uh, he's a DJ from upstate New York. My beautiful wife, Peter Ramsasad, is watching. Uh, let's see, we have Sheila the Best is laughing. Anita Dyeram says, great voice, nice song, loving it. Um, Thank you. Yes. Um, Ryan, so everybody, uh, I was the fireman on stage. I have to ask about that fireman. Sharda Satipal, uh, she better to be simple, uh, sample, and a big example. Girl, you keep shining. Vivi Thank Jenny you. Dubé, also, I see we have, you know, John is speaking fight with me. He's saying, I am la smiling and I'm blushing. But, you know, I, it always, always when I meet nice people, um, it really brings out something special out of me um, and it's good to have her um, DJ, uh, our man Apache Warrior watching all the way from Baltimore I don't, I'm not sure if you met him um, have you, you, you heard of Apache Warrior he's another great singer out of Diana and a great supporter of the Ken Rampersad show he's saying great interview um, yes I see Anita Diaram is watching let's see we have Alvin again Bibi, thank you very much, John, is the happiest with female guests. I love to have all of the, the people on my show who is very humble and like what she is. She displayed the best of Trinidad and Tobago and the flag. And I'm certainly sure that as life goes on, she'll be a great star of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank Uma, you. thank you very much for watching. You are welcome. And um, Salam Haq, thank you very much. Um, let's see, you know, Alvin Ramsrup is from Trinidad and Tobago and he's putting up the flag of Trinidad and Tobago and he's saying 100%. Yes. Thank you. Open. Yes. Uh, Bibi, thank you very much. Liz Padawan watching all the way from Guyana. Van de Prasad, we need to have a respect in general. Absolutely. Um, John is saying Fest is the best. Um, let's see, Vanda, very good evening to you too. I know we have to get off the radio at 7.30. We have another 10 minutes more to go. Um, have you met, have you in your mind say, you know what, I want to meet uh, any singer from uh, India or any Trinidad and Tobago who you haven't met yet and why? You could repeat the question? Oh, is there any singer that you would want to meet that you haven't met as yet? Like, you know, I am so glad like if I meet you in person or um, another star, um, is there anyone that you would want to meet? Well, in Bollywood, I would love to meet everybody. Obviously. All right. <laughs> yes, yes, I like that. Priyanka Chopra is like um, Kumar Sanu is like <laughs> everybody. Alka Yagnik, all, all of them, all. Yes. That, that's a good thing. And um, is there a singer in India that you would want to meet to get a tune with, to sing mm -hmm. with? So many of them. It, it's so hard to choose, though, because I love all. I love all, 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 all. It's, it's kind of hard to choose, honestly. Oh, okay. You know, um, you know, in the world, the, the world has changed last since last year with the pandemic. And yes. I know, like for example, me, if I'm with a crowd, I get hyped up. Um, it, was there a disadvantage in you performing on stage where there is nobody watching? Uh, do you prefer to be in a crowd or this was just good enough for you? Honestly, I understand that we are in a pandemic. COVID is a serious thing. It's real. And yeah. singing, um, performing for this finals and there was no crowd. It was just myself on stage, my dancers, my judges on, in front of me. I used my judges as the crowd yes, and okay. I knew that my people is going to look at it. So I performed as, you know, hey, all right there. So I, you know, but honestly, when you have a live crowd, you know, you, you tend to get at the front. You, you start again at the front heat too, eh? Yes. Because when you start a performance, you're you, yeah, you, you whining, tanty whining, bulgy whining, you know? Yeah. You're, you're feeling it. Who are whining? 
who are whining you get a vibration yes so, honestly i did miss the the actual live um audience but you know you had to have an understanding that okay we can't have that it's covid time and i went out there i did my best but you see in terms of gigs and stuff that we get like friday normally we friday saturday sunday we are booked um i really miss it you know going oh. out there and i know i get to spend even more time with my family with my daughter especially um but i do miss going out there it's not all about the money for me it's all about you know i love oh. singing with my passion i love to sing yes. and honestly if like right now somebody calls me and say hey we have another small something come on boss such one hey i gonna hey. jump in my best just and really? one thing i so love music i love to sing all right and that's why <laughs> and that's what that's why you are a star today because you love music and it comes from the heart um you know in terms of you know in this world that we're living today a lot of times we have people who are um pulling us pulling us down and don't want to help us um in terms of the artists that you've met in your lifetime who is the one that give you the best advice and what they told you best advice um i would have to say is rakesh ankran cuz he always told me that as i said earlier on that i used to perform with him because of the pandemic i don't because you know we can't go out but he used to always tell me you know i used to cry out to him and tell him you know i really want to get out there so people could get to know me more and he could be like um just settle your mind be calm he said when when you see there's something for you here my mom said it too he said if there's something for you nisha it will come to you just wait wait yes. god it cuz he used to tell me that you know i have nice vocals and all of that and he would be like i want you to come by my well he live in freeport side he's like he he talks like this i want you to come down in freeport by me here and i want you come and learn how to play the harmonium i'm going to teach you but honestly um i don't know how to do that i don't know yes. how to and uh, that is why he's a role model to me because you know he's good um but rakesh i'll say rakesh ankram because he always give me that extra push as well and he always you know speak so loving to me and he never gave up on me he wow. he, he never gave up on me never never and, and up to this day he called me when he heard that i won um the first ever chatney soccer queen he called me and his wife and um auntie girly they said um she said nisha um uncle rakesh he he was so happy for your girl he like he started to cry when he oh. heard you win oh. i was like i oh, feel my gosh thank you and he was right on the phone and he he can't don't tell me you know he's so proud of me so i would say rakesh he always you know he always try to motivate me it's so beautiful when you have people who are the top of the list could come and and support you embrace you and i think i have my two more question for you um your husband Mm-hmm. um it's always good to have a good partner in all that you do how supportive he is to you and is he the real fireman he is <laughs> <laughs> i make you blush i make you blush he, he is actually um 100% by my side mm-hmm. um he's actually managing things to me right now um good. in terms of um you know i'm i'm starting to get a lot of calls um internationally um all right and yeah so i he is basically taking care of that and he have been by my side you know from from the start as well so you know yeah. i must say i must give him credit he is doing his part and he is totally i mean he has his own life as well because he's a a tasa drama he's a fire officer and you know he's really talented as well so mm-hmm. i must give him credit he is amazing <laughs> That's nice. We're going to ask our DJ to play another song for you and when we come back we will give our closing um I'm so sorry we didn't have the full 2 hours to chit chat um because it's such fun chatting with you tonight. So let's go Thank DJ. You. you are welcome. Ready? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
Sorry, I have to cut your song off, but I was reading um, in two minutes. We have to get off. Um, Davy Hansraj is dancing, thumbs up. And Liz Padman says, you rock girl, keep doing you. Also, she Thank made some, a good comment. Joy Ramburan, a very good evening to you. And Liz said, she is my newest favorite singer. I'm going to look up all her songs and play them. Roy Ramburan, good evening. And uh, so Anita, Yes, Anita says, I love my Chutney music. So... You know, one of the things I have to tell you that um, I'm going to let you close out now and then I'll say my piece. So you, the stage is yours. Okay, um, Ken, I would like to say, um, firstly, um, thank you to God. Without God, nothing is possible. Mm -hmm. Thank you to my family, my mom, my dad, my daughter, Amisha. Um, without her, you know, I would, I don't know what I'll do without her. Um, thank you to my sister. She's right here. <laughs> Oh, she can pick in if she um, wants yeah. Yes, to my boyfriend. I love him a whole lot. Thank you to him, my brother. It covers my entire my entire family, my aunt and uncle. That's my entire family. Um, to my producer Rishi Mahatu, um, to D to DJ Din, who did my music video. Um, to these the Surya Mika dance group for the beautiful presentation for the finals and semifinals. Shahid Ali, to my seamstress, Sharda Dautal, to Everybody, 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 and most importantly, um, thank you to Island Zone Radio for having me. Yeah. I really do appreciate this interview. Thank you, and I do look forward to another interview because I felt so comfortable. Yes. Thank you to you, Mr. Ken Rampasad, and um, thank you to everybody who is locked in. Thank you so so much, and I really do appreciate those lovely comments. And I do hope that you know, I won your heart and. Thank you so, so much. And I look forward for your support each and every year. Well, my dear Nisha, the pleasure is mine. I have to tell you, you know, I'm a poor guy that came from Guyana. And this has been a big thing for me, being a radio host. Um, I feel just like you. I feel so connected to you because we actually, from the, we, we humble. And God has blessed us tremendously. Um, when I wrote to you, I wasn't sure because, you know, I said, what if she's going to come on the show? I'm just a, a, a regular guy, you know what I'm saying? But I have to tell our viewers that as soon as I wrote you, the first thing, within a couple of minutes, you said no problem. And uh, even on uh, uh, Friday when I wrote you and you said you're coming on, I tell you, you, you really have shown what a great human being you are. I'm very, um, you know, I'm a psych nurse. I pick up a lot of things. Um, and during this interview, despite you are in beautiful Trinidad and Tobago, you, your humility, your humbleness is showing through on all over the airways. And it is such a pleasure having you on the radio. I hope that we get a talk sometime more when you win the big competition. You choose Ken <laughs> Rampasad show to come back on 
um, feel free to come on this platform any given time. Just give me a call. I always tell people who come on the Ken Rampersad show, you are family and I will respect you. And thank you for coming and you show a different part. Our viewers get to see why you deserve to be a champion today. All the very best to you. And thank you luck. so much. And Ken, one other thing. I just want to say congratulations to GI again yes. on his win. And also to the, all the other artists, congratulations and all the best to them as well. And McGill Vanita Willie as well. Yes, man. I hope, you know, one year, hope I could get both of you guys together and we can talk about Trinidad and Guyana in a positive way, if you know what I mean. Right? right, 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 right. Yeah. And I put that on your lap because, you know, you're a big girl. I mean, you have the title and everything. So good luck to you, ladies and gentlemen. You. I am talking to Nisha Ramsuk, the winner of the Chapney Suka Monarch in Trinidad and Tobago. She made history. Until next time, have a very good evening, my dear. Until your sister, hello, she can peep her.